Hey, good morning. This morning we're gonna show how, from start to finish, how to do, make this car charm. All right, so this is a finished one. Um, it has the little balls on there, the bow, um, and this hangs from your rear view mirror. Um, so we're gonna show you how to make it. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with the ribbon. Um, we we'll use the uh, 7 8 um, inch ribbon um, and leave it on the spool to get started. So this is how I do it. It's kind of like tying a shoestring. And you won't get it perfect the first time each time, but you'll want to keep working with it uh, to, to kind of determine the size. So I just kind of keep it on the spool work with it, move it around until I get kind of the desired size that I'm looking for, which is not too big, okay? All right, and once it gets about that size, you see everything is still connected, um, then you wanna grab your scissors and you wanna cut that side off, all right? After you've cut that side off, now you have to work with this piece. So this is how I do it. And there might be an easier way to do this, but this is just, this is how I do mine. So I work by flipping that around, making that tight. So it's nice and cute. And you see how that little fr frizzles are right there? Um, what I do, I just kind of, I cut that off. So I grab my scissors and kind of go this way with that. Kind of cut all the fuzzies off, get that out of the way. And that's about how I want my bow. About like that, pull the little things. All right, so that's just about ready. You kind of want it to look just like this, okay? All right, and then I lay my bow down, get some string, get some twine, okay? And this is the one I use. Um, but you want about uh, six inches of twine. Cut that off, okay? And then I don't want that to be seen, so I turn this bow around and I use my favorite knife right here, and I slide this twine through the back side of the bow, okay? Sometimes I can get it the first try. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of work, but once I see it, I pull it through, and then you wanna line up your string, okay? So now that string is at the back of the bow, all right? And then you wanna grab your car charm that's freshly cut and painted and ready to go. And this is how I do it. I put one string through here, one through the bottom, because I want that bow to be nice and even, okay? I pull it through. like that and you can kind of see through the back that my strings here and I'm just gonna I'm gonna tie a knot because I don't want that bow moving around okay um, then you want to go like this and just make sure it looks cute work with it a little bit there you go you got your string now it is time to add the little balls this right here, I got a pack of 300 on Amazon, um, and it's the 20mm pack of 300 on Amazon, and I put six of them on there. Um, you can put as many as you want, but I, le I like to do both sides of the string, um, but you can put as many as you want on there. This is just what's been uh, popular for our area. Gotta 
work that twine through there. There we go. There's one side. just there you're all set and you just want to tie a little knot right here and that makes it adjustable and you are all set so there you go all set work with your bow doesn't take too long you can have all of these bows all done um, if you have a large quantity um, you can have them all done and then just work that string through each of them um, and then kind of go from there. But here is your finished product right here. Um, and on some of the letters, like if, if you if this is too long for you and, and it kind of hides it, um, don't don't be afraid to just cut that off. Just shorten it up a little bit. There's that. to go all right thank you for watching and uh have a great day